Uh, thank you very much for having me. Uh, with the Islamic Development Bank, uh, we uh, recognize uh, nurturing uh, economic uh, growth is a key road out of poverty. And with the new business model set up by the current president, uh, uh, Dr. Bandar Hajjar, uh, we want to uh, empower our communities with the right tools through science, technology, innovation, through Islamic finance, through value chain and partnership. So we invest a lot or we have now uh, science, technology, innovation as a heart of our strategy. And we believe science, technology, innovation would be the key factor to uh, address so many demands as all our member countries south-south. So we really get hit a lot by the climate change. So we need to have uh, innovative tools, out of the box solution to be able to address uh, demand in food security, uh, also related something like uh, uh, clean water. Uh, um, renewable energy because all that is related quality education uh, well-being and nutrition and also the right infrastructure so we um, invest a lot in um, the out-of-the-box type of idea we integrate the policy of science and technology innovation within our mainstream because we need innovative ideas that are going to have uh, uh, more uh, impact type of investment. So we set up the fund called Transform Fund when we have call for innovation for the whole for the whole globe and people apply to that fund in all these different areas which is all of them uh, benefiting um, uh, poverty like uh, food security, renewable energy, uh, ed uh, quality education, water and uh, well-being and health infrastructure. And from that within we uh, sponsor um, the um, Innovators, women, we increase the participation of women in innovation from 8% to 41%. Youth, anyone with an amazing idea from anywhere in the world. We have um, interest this year from 177, 173 countries from all over the world who apply with an amazing idea, practical solution. They can help their communities because the best ideas you can get it from indigenous people, from the local people who are suffering or are the experience really the, the challenges and they come with a solution that fit with their own structure, culture and respect their values. A very important question and that's because we invest heavily in all this infrastructure so now when we are really investing in agriculture we look all these uh, challenges for example, if, if you are come with an idea for smart agriculture, if you are develop an app for to, uh, to tell the farmers about their the climate change and how they can affect their crops and yield of, of, of the of the of, of the farms, then we need to really integrate the system within that country. We need to talk to the decision makers. We need to really invest, and even when we have project with our partners to invest such a technology because we are now investing heavily in technology. Technology is part of now of our key type of projects. Um, if you have an idea, we invest in you. We invest in your idea and we apply that in our mainstream. So, and then with the farmers, we don't just invest in the farmer and then give him money. We take him as a partner. So we are really empowering them from A to Z, like packaging, transportation, storage, marketing, you know, even sometimes we subsidize, we buy uh, milk or, or anything to do with the farm in terms of win-win situation. And we start with that type of, uh, uh, what we call it uh, uh, economic empowerment in Tunisia, which is amazing, amazing success. And then we move to Sudan and we move to Palestine, where farmers now our partners and we are really helping them from A to Z and give training, entrepreneurship training as well, and how to the access to market, how to uh, scale up, and how to come with any innovative ideas that can cope with their own climate change because different countries have different needs, and how we adapt that to different um, uh, constraints and challenges. amazing impact and that's what we start with the tamkin uh, in Zaytuna in uh, Tunisia when we see the farms really increase from five percent to many percent to be able to to uh, empower their own crops and that because of that model now we apply it in Tunisia uh, sorry in Palestine and we have we see even women that can benefit from that and we even with Sudan by investing in Sudan uh, and just a small thing, like uh, when we invest in Sudan, we just invest in the farm because everything around agriculture, like Sudan usually um, uh, they, uh, capture uh, rainfall, water from rainfall to be able for, to use it in the drought season. Now, the lack of rain. So we built with them dams. So 
and, and within three to five fees, we have about nearly 25 havers and about um, 250 habitant, uh, 250,000 habitant, and over five million head of uh, uh, livestock to be. Uh, you know, benefit from that. So we can see the result, and that's what the beauty about this hands-on, and we move that experience to another country.